Hello everybody, my name is Walter and yes, I am back just for a little while. Let me just adjust the camera because it was off a bit. Um, okay, so I'm doing a season recap but this time it is a series recap because I didn't have time to react to it. Um, but uh, this was this was one I was toying around for a while. Uh, it's called Troll Hunters, and the reason why I didn't watch it is because <coughs> I didn't even know it came out. Um, but then I saw it in my Twitter. I have a Twitter. I will put the link in my description if you guys even bother. Um, but yeah, uh, I saw my Twitter feed and it said Gear uh, Gamer the uh, fuck. Guillermo del Toro uh, series called Troll Hunters, and I saw a bit of like a teaser trailer, whatever. It's like a preview clip of the Troll Hunters, and I was like, "Oh, this is interesting. I wonder when it's coming out." And I saw it was 2016. And I was like, "What? How come I didn't hear of it?" Um, but uh, now that I have and I've watched it, I can certainly say. I'm a fool for missing out because um, it's a really nice series. I, I definitely think it has the superhero qualities to it and all of the, you know, the normal hero side to it. And I do appreciate that Jim is, you know, the, the kind that, you know, it wants to help everyone and, and will help everyone. But he also makes mistakes and, you know, he fumbles and he needs a team, you know, he doesn't, he, he admits it himself. He says, I need a team, I need a team and I, I think this is why we work better together because, you know, when we put, you know, our heads together, we can overcome these type of uh, obstacles to, uh, together. Man, I'm using together a lot. Anyway, um, also I, I like that there is a certain dynamic between uh, the two best friends. Um, you know, obviously the Toby is, is more of the goof, you know, he's more of the sidekick. But he also knows that he can and wants to, you know, put his all, you know, he wants to help gym as much as possible and you know he he does that you know in all the unseeming ways you know it's kind of the run stoppable um you know aura with him but you know he gets his comeuppance now and again um and i like that he has his own personality and he has more backstory to him that we then then we would have thought about him that's interesting as well. I like that the chemistry between uh, Claire and Jim is not forced. You know, it's it's natural. You know, it's this kind of like high school setting where you know this awkward guy has a crush on a girl. You know that kind of story, um, and I appreciate that. Um, you know, every not everything is is spelled out. You know, like he. Jim still has to find things out on his own and he he still needs to seek counsel with Blinky uh, Mr. Blinky his um his main uh, guy guidance um you know main guider so to say and uh, arg is sort of the muscle um and uh, yeah I, I really you know even like the bully you know as, as much as it is stereotypical, you know, he does have a kind of, you know, sad story to kind of, you know, give him this ground to to be this type of person. It adds a lot of personality is what I'm trying to say. I would, I would like to see more Eli because I think that could be an interesting kind of change in the dynamic as well and uh, leading up to the end of uh, season 2 it looks like Claire spoilers you know is uh, going more towards the dark side but that's not necessarily her fault it's more of the staff that she got and uh, you know we know Claire is gonna be uh, in the team because she's always in the intro so it did take a while but uh, we got there and uh, what's left is Jim telling his mother even though his mother found out, uh, you know, she had to be wiped of her memory because of the, you know, breaking of the enchantment smell and all that. And what's more interesting about this um, series as a whole for me is that 
Jim learns his lessons, and I'm not talking about, you know, school, whatever. You know, he he does genuinely get into situations where you know he thinks he's doing what's best, but obviously it's not. And what happens is, you know, everything unfolds and untethers. But at the end of the episode, Jim says, "Okay, I know it," and then he carries it on in this in the consequential episodes and I think that is what is missing from the CW superhero shows and everything it used to have it I don't know whether it didn't test well whatever or you know this kind of repetitions that you know he uh, you know like flash and arrow you know they keep faltering back on their word or whatever is more you know dark gritty whatever but I definitely feel like this is much more interesting. Him learning and adapting and getting stronger and stronger uh, with each word. Of course, he still makes mistakes. That's what comes when you are a hero or a superhero, whatever. You are still human in some ways. And uh, the twist about this, um, the troll hunters, is that you know they've never had a human troll hunter so this is the first time that they've had a human champion even though I would think you know Merlin was a human whatever maybe he's a changeling I don't know they have these creatures called changelings and I maybe uh, Merlin was the first changeling I don't know but uh, it seems to me that Merlin should have been like a human wizard I don't know maybe a wizard is like a different thing I don't know but yeah um, you know this, these type of changelings you know want to help uh Gunmar but I don't know why maybe because they fought with him in like the previous wars or whatever and that that's kind of understandable if it's going that side but they never really explained it they just kind of left it in the background which you know is interesting in itself and I also found out that they're gonna be during uh, three, uh, you know, parallel dimensions to this Tales of Arcadia, three below, and something else I forgot. Um, and another thing about this is is that you know it's gen it's genuinely like heartfelt. You know, it's genuinely heart touching um, when you see some of the you know relationships unfold and you know you see some of the relationships start to falter because of certain you know actions or, or or just you know words being said whatever but there's never a point where it's for hurting someone even though they're villains and I'm talking about Strickler here he does have a sense of okay I, I you know I I do have to do this but I also kind of really really am proud of Jim you know and maybe you know he sees a sort of like prodigy apprentice you know whatever in him we will never know because you know, it's his mindset and that psychology is really really interesting and you know that even the relationship between him and his mother you know it's it's a bit short but you know it's it's understandable because he's a changeling and he's not uh, really a human and of course there's always going to be friction between him and Jim because Jim is the troll hunter and you know uh, Strickler is some kind of like I don't know troll maester or whatever um, and I think that's so interesting and you know the villains are villains like they're bad but they also kind of you know are genuinely like changed because of of Jib's like heroism and altruisticness you know because you he has that kind of youthful positive uh, vibe that kind of and reinforces people to go mm, maybe you know I can you know rally with him and fight together and all that um, I would say that uh, Claire is more of like a strong you know tom tomboy character but not really a tomboy because I definitely think you know this is a strong female character for today's you know kid shows as well or, or generally any show actually um, you know she doesn't shoot you know she, she doesn't shoot much yet you know she, she cuts to the chase 
Uh, you know, she does have a few spats with uh, Toby, but that's because of Toby's, you know, inherent uh, thoughts of Jim, uh, you know, thinking that Jim will, you know, let him go as a friend or something like that along those lines. But obviously, Jim still regards him as a really good friend, and you know, as the saying goes, bros before. I don't want to complete that sentence because. Hey, it's YouTube. Uh, um, but yes, uh, I definitely think that there is so much potential for for more of this show, and I wish there were there was more seasons. And yes, there's gonna be a season three, but I think they're gonna wrap it up in a neat little bow by the end of season three. But I I'm looking forward to the the side plots and and the side stories and seeing where this goes because this is visually fantastic. I mean, like just visually beautiful and it's from the people who did uh, How to Train Your Dragon it's very very obvious because uh, in one episode there was How to Train Your Dragon in the background and I'm like yep uh, they're the people who did uh, how, how to Train Your Dragon and you can see it in the animation itself you know the type of skin and the the, la the layering and everything it's it's the people who did How to Train Your Dragon and it shows because I don't know what it is about this type of animation but like they get the movement really really well and like it's it's blurry but it's also fluid like it's weird but I like it um what else I I would say that um you know for for this type of show it's it's kind of paced like a normal you know like a normal Netflix series but I would like it to be more of the animation side because I did skip some scenes because it's it's you know some of it it's filler but um, other than that you know I definitely think there is a lot of you know platform for him yeah. to to grow and say okay I, I've, I've done this I've done this and I, I know it's you know not not the best thing for me to do but it's the only choice I have kind of thing for him going um, and you know there is a few Deus Ex Machina's but I kind of knew it's coming you know because they set up this kind of world that lets these type of things happen these type of uh, these types of um, you know changes or or you know bringing back of people because it's it's a fantasy world and and I was comparing it to Bright and why Bright failed is that they never really set up the fantasy world like this like even though we are with like the gym and the other humans that like, we are not really certain of the other part of you know the the magical side of, of life you know the fantasy life um, they start to build it when Jim starts to discover more and more you know it unravels whilst Brad just jumped in the fantasy world and I think it took away from a lot of the story and uh, for me you know Bright was just really a lot of filler like there was nothing for me to be really angry about I skipped a lot like I just skip 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 like that's one of the things about me like if it's not really grabbing me I tend to skip a lot um, and you know I, I I didn't see like anything really bad about pride you know there's a lot of unexplained plot threads but I kind of expected it even from the posters like I saw posters on my highways I was like what is this like right like it looks it looks like a stupid B movie kind of deal and I, I'm not expecting much like I mean yes there's Will Smith and Joel Edgerton but you you can't expect much from the the director of Suicide Squad David David S. Ayer you know uh, there's there is a lot of uh, him in there like uh, there is a lot of his touch in there there's just too much but um, anyway, back to Troll Hunters. Uh, I, for me, I I really, really, really enjoyed the story. Like it really captured me. Yes, I skipped a lot of the scenes, but that's because there's a lot of filler, and I don't like filler scenes. You know, 
sometimes when I'm doing reactions, I'm like, damn it, I have to sit through the <laughs> the filler scenes. That's why. If you see it, I look a bit bored. That's because I really want to skip it. But you know, maybe some people like those filler scenes, and it's not that filler scenes is not important. It's just that you know, it kind of takes me away and says, okay, you know, they want me to rest, but I don't want to rest. I want to know more. You know, I want, I want more. Um, I am currently watching the tick, so I will be doing the tick as well uh, after I finish the tick. And what I know about the tick is, is it's a, it's a comedy, uh, an old comedy. You know, they brought it back to Amazon and and all that. Um, but one of the things coming back to <laughs> again, troll hunters. I don't know why. This is something I wanted to say. Um, coming back to troll hunters, I. I'm really sad to find out that the 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 main voice actor died, but uh, I'm I'm eager to see who kind of can take up that mantle. Uh, I really like the girl's voice. I don't know why she's not prominently credited because like she's there, but like I mean you know maybe she hasn't done too many uh, too 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 much. I mean too she hasn't worked too much. I mean you know. Um, and I just love the concept of it like you know Vandal was really good even though he kind of spoiler um, got a few pass away um, I'm sure they'll find a way to bring him now they, they they pretty much solidified that he's not coming back um, and then you know the stuff with Colera and um, Jim um, and Strickler as well, I think he's gonna come back, maybe, I'm not sure. Um, and you know, the, the Janus Order and all those, you know, stuff, you know. They really built this world to to have more crazy stuff, like they, they suddenly, uh, they didn't suddenly throw in, I'm just saying it as an exaggeration, but um, they suddenly throw in like, you know, special stones that, that can enhance his armor, but it's explained obviously. But I just find that it's you know suddenly so jarring. But obviously, it's because of the approaching boss fight that he has to go through. But he never really. I mean, he does, but you know, he never really. Can I say he kill kill? Him? He did kill kill him, but he never managed to kill kill him. Like he just scarred him. Like that's sort of like killing him because it's already like giving him. In the Sun because they're not, you know, uh, they're not, they're immune, I mean, they're not immune to the sun, uh, the sun, uh, it kind of burns their skin, it, it's kind of like vampire rules, like Steve said at the end, um, but yeah, I, I definitely, definitely think this is a series to watch and to, to look out for, because it's, it's very, very interesting, and uh, of course there's a lot of, you know, Spanish in it, because Guillermo del Toro is, um, you know, is more Spanish and uh, you know he's, he's you know obsessed with uh, monsters you know he did Shape of Water which I haven't watched I'm gonna get to it um, and uh, yeah that's about it I think I think I've gone on for enough um, what else nothing much um, Breaking Bad season 2 I don't know uh, I, I might get back to it, I might not get back to it, I might watch it on my own and kind of do a season recap, as, I mean, you know, a season recap, uh, or a series recap just like this, like whole two seasons or whatever, like whole four or five seasons, I, it's seven seasons, like, I gotta pace myself, uh, but yeah, so Troll Hunters, you know, the first season had 26 episodes, so, you know, just be careful about that. Uh, it's not really three seasons. I mean, it's three seasons. I count it. If, you know, if it's Netflix rules, I count it as three seasons. Because normally one season is 13 episodes. And the second season had 13 episodes. So I'm counting it as three seasons. Anyway, there's going to be a... F um, a f um, God damn it. It slipped my mind. A pro like, a proper third season uh you know official third season there I, there you go an official third season somewhere in this year don't know when maybe it's the end of the year most likely the end of the year 
Um, yeah, so yeah, I think I will be there watching it with you guys. I'm coming back for Star vs. Force of Evil as well. Waiting for Steven Universe to come back. Um, what else? Not a lot. There, there is some new shows, and I think Channel Zero came back too. But I, I couldn't miss that. I was like, what? Channel Zero came back? Uh, there was a lot of show. I think it kind of is dying out. So, uh, waiting for um, Market God season two. So uh, yeah, just stay tuned for that. Um, nothing else, but nothing else much to say. But please leave a like if you like this. Uh, please comment. Uh, please share the videos if you really wanna help me out, and also subscribe and ring the bell, and all that good stuff. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, uh, I will see you guys in the next video, which most likely will be in March. So stay tuned. See ya.